peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, we will answer one more claim made by Muslims, those uh, uh, weirdo people. Uh, in here, uh, a Muslim, his name is Salam752. He's saying, Brother Wissam Abdullah, uh, in his debate, he has proved that Paul has false apostle, uh, uh, the false apostle who never met Jesus was imposter liar, while millions of millions believe in the Prophet Muhammad and his religion has reached all over the world and, and, and many people are embracing Islam as prophesied himself while false just just wait just wait just wait just wait you know when a, when a Muslim by, by the way I challenge you and your brother to dare even to get close to me I wonder why your brother don't dare even to 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 debate me your brother is is a potato you know, uh, by the way, your brother, he don't even debate about Islam. He debate only about Christianity. You know why? Because he's a potato. Because he's ashamed of his religion. Same time, as long as your brother, he proved to you that Paul never met Jesus, and he is a false imposer, it's mean your prophet is a false imposer too, and your God. Why? Because I'm showing you now that Paul is a messenger of Allah from your book. Watch with me. Chapter 36, verse number 14. Who is talking there? Allah. He is talking about two messengers, and the two messengers was a strength with a third. Let us see who is the two messengers, and let us see who is the third. And then we will see that you and your brothers in Islam are a bunch of idiots because you don't read even your book. Because if you know your book, you will never say what you said. Because right now you accuse your God and your prophet to be a bunch of liars. Not Paul. Let me show you. Here we go. This is your Quran. Chapter 36, verse number 14. And the one is explaining it is Ibn Kathir, not me. So don't come to me and say, oh, you're lying. Uh, if you want to say lie, you have to, to have you accuse Ibn Kathir. And I will show you, not Ibn Kathir saying that, no, 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 a lot of scholars, brother, a lot of scholars, you will not believe it. Now, the scholars of Islam, they get their stories from who? From the Prophet of Islam. And the explanation of the Quran is coming from who? From the only man, the Prophet of Islam. Look what, the, what, what your God is saying about Paul. When we send to them, Two messengers, they denied them both. Means they hastened to disbelieve in them. We will see now the names of those messengers who they are sent and they are strengthened by the third one, the most powerful one. The names of the first two messengers were Shema'un. This is an Arabic name, you know, coming from actually not Arabic name. This is from the Hebrew, you know. We, we in English we say Simon, and Yohanna, which is John or Yohanna in Arabic, and the name of the third one was Bolos, which is Paul. Bolos is the Arabic name of Paul. So when a stupid Abdul says that Paul was an imposer, then you have to say that to the stupid ones who teach you Islam. Unless you want to say to me, your brother, the one you named him, the potato, the fat one, he knew better than Ibn Kathir. And not only Ibn Kathir, I can show you that from Al Qurtubi. I can show you that from many scholars. Let us show you. Let us teach you, Muslims. Let us educate you. So again, this is, can be found in Ibn Kathir regarding the explanation of chapter 36, verse number 14. But just wait before I finish from Ibn Kathir, because in here we have a proof that the Messiah must be God. Look what it says in here about those three messengers. Those three messengers are sent by the Messiah. The Messiah, do you see it? To the people of Antakya. Okay, just wait. Those are messengers of God been appointed and named as messengers by Jesus? Well, how a messenger can make a messenger? If those messengers was sent by Jesus, this is mean, Jesus is their Lord. 
Because who is the who is the one who make Muhammad messenger? A messenger or God? They will say God. Who is the one who make Musa messenger? They will say God. Well, those are three messengers. In the here it says, those are the messenger of the Messiah. And you just told me that Paul, <clears throat> as you said, he never met Jesus. Never met Jesus. So why your stupid mullahs saying the opposite? Because to be sent by the Messiah, Messiah have to speak to him and appoint him. So it must be he met the Messiah. See how stupid you are, Abdul. Your book saying the opposite. So tell your brother, the one who prove, come to me and prove it. Let us play together, huh? Now let us show you more, because we have a surprise for you. The book of Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya, the beginning at the end of Ibn Kathir. You can read from page number 529, uh, 530, read to the end. You will see, it says in here, that Paul was a man who hated the Messiah, and he hated the people to believe in him, and he used to go after people to kill him, to kill them. So when he faced, read with me, this is your Muslim stories, not my stories, and this is in Sahih, this is Qala ibn Habbana fi Sahihihi. This is a correct hadith. I'm not the one who's making up the stories. Abdul, I know you. Huh? He's saying, uh, when he met the companions of Jesus, as it says in here in Arabic, huh? when, when Bulos, you see this is the word Bulos in Arabic, this is how we write it. He met the companion of the Messiah. An angel came to him and he hit him with his wing. So he became a blind. Uh oh. <laughs> See, Muhammad, he take the story from the Bible. He make it different. The angel, he hit him with the wing. <laughs> so when he saw that, which means Paul, he became a believer in the Messiah. He came back and he apologized. He came back to the Messiah and he apologized for what he did. How you explain that to me? And he asked, and, and he believed in him. So the Messiah accepted that. And he asked him to give him his eyes again. So he can see. So he told him, go to a, such a place in Damascus, in the end of the, the, the market or the bazaar. And this is in page number, here we go, page 53, now we are. In the east of it, there is a man, he is going to help you to do that. So when he went there, Paul, he got his vision again, and he became a very good believer in the Messiah. Do you see it? And he became a very good believer in the Messiah. And not only that, he said, he said, Ana Abdullahi wa Rasuluh. I am the slave of Allah and his messenger. <laughs> so what? We just wait, just wait. Paul became what? Became a messenger of Allah. In your book, the Dub. Do you see it? And they and build it a church in his name in Damascus. So when the Muslims they say we prove that this is that Paul is a bad man, you know, I challenge the Muslims to show me one hadith from their prophet saying Paul is a bad man. Just one. It's a challenge between me and all the Muslims. And if your prophet never said that, who are you to say that? And if your prophet never mentioned that, does that mean your prophet he is unaware of Paul, but you are aware? Shouldn't your prophet in you? Because the Muslim they accuse Paul that he is the one who corrupt the book of God. This is what they say. They hate Paul. They are possessed with him. In the same time you read their books, the stupid idiot, it says that Paul is a great man. Not only that, he is a messenger of Allah. He is the messenger of Allah. If we go to different books, just to show you that this is not only here, we will not stop in here. No, we have more reference. 
The Book of at tahrir wa Tanweer by Muhammad Tahir ibn Ashur. He says again that Paul is a messenger of Allah and he was one of the best believers of the Messiah and uh, you know he was sent to people to strengthen the faith of Christ and the page number 360 you can read there and you will see that uh, he have companion with him and they are believers in Jesus the Christ and he went to Antarctica let us show you more reference and the funny guys uh, if we read in Al-Qurtubi or even Ibn Kathir we will see that the, the messenger of the Messiah who the Messiah he sent them as you see in here they were able to make the crazy healed the sick healed the blind even the dead man they raised people from death all of that in the name of the Messiah because as long as the Muslims they agree that the Messiah is the one who sent them then who is the one who gave them this ability look what it says in here the messenger of the Messiah which is Isa in here they said we can make uh, 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 you know the one the leper we can heal the leper uh, we can make the blind see uh, uh, you know they can do anything and they did and this is written in the books of Muslims now as long those three messengers is exist in the Quran and you Muslims believe that John is one of them so why you don't believe in his book as we see we have Jonah in here sorry we have a uh, uh, John which is Yohanna so why Muslims don't believe in his book you know you want to fight Paul fight and by the way when a Muslim he fight Paul give me one reason for a Muslim to fight Paul give me one teaching of Paul is against God just one do Paul promote adultery like Muhammad he allowed people to do muta do Paul the stupid Muslims their prophet never attacked Paul and this is a proof that they are making up stories even against their own religion because if you're a prophet himself like you're a prophet never heard of Paul it must be because if Paul was bad he should say but what we say what we see that your scholars saying that Paul is a messenger of Allah but you Muslims go against your scholars because you Muslims today this is by the way this is something new Muslims today they are a bunch of evil people they are a lot more evil than Muslims before Muslims before never attack Paul and this is why I'm challenging the Muslim to show me one one hadith about attacking Paul in the same time I want to challenge them to show me one teaching of Paul is against God did Paul around muta? did Paul says you can have sex with the children like Muhammad did Paul he said you can beat your wife and the funny the Muslims want to they want to prove to you that you, a woman should cover her hair they go and quote for you what Paul he said that women they cover their hair in the church you see they fight Paul they hate Paul in the same time they come to you and say see Paul he said that but they don't read the verse after it says that the, the cover of a woman is her hair not a clothes so they are hypocrite they are trash and they have nothing to say they are bankrupt religion and you know what I challenge you I challenge any name you name I this is an open challenge for all the Muslims to come and debate us we record it we post it on YouTube and let everybody be the judge and if you dare be there Christ is Lord and Paul is the messenger of the Messiah and his feet is better than the face of your prophet proven by act not by words from their fruit you shall know them go and see the foot of Paul and see who is your prophet fruit and then you compare see you with more videos very soon Christ is Lord Islam is false, I mean.